Polls open in less than 30 minutes as Pennsylvanians get ready to vote in today's primary. Well, for most voters in Philadelphia, the Democratic primary for mayor is getting the most attention. Eyewitness News reporter Trang Doe is live at City Hall. Good morning, Trang. Hey, good morning, Jim and Janelle. It's because this race for mayor could be very close. All three Democratic candidates are very well-known names in this city, and two of them have faced off before. But over on city council, there are so many candidates. This is the most at-large candidates in 40 years, and many of them are first-timers, so voters will really have to do their research. Voters in Philadelphia have the chance to really influence the city's future for the next four years, with nominations for mayor and five at-large council seats up for grabs. Mayor Jim Kenney is hoping to keep his job in the face of two Democratic challengers, State Senator Anthony Williams and former city controller Alan Butkovitz. Both of Kenny's opponents have taken aim at the mayor for the city's rising crime rate. Butkovitz has proposed using crisis intervention mentors to stem the tide of homicides. Meanwhile, Senator Williams, who lost to Kenny four years ago in the mayoral primary, is attacking the mayor on infrastructure, calling out dirty streets and unfilled potholes. Incumbent Jim Kenny is continuing to tout his record on expanding funding for pre-K education, paid for with the controversial soda tax. Another race to watch is one that could make history. Philly has never elected a woman as sheriff, and two African-American women are hoping to change that. Retired police officer Rochelle Bilal and former corrections officer Malika Rahman are taking on Jewel Williams. Williams, a seven-year incumbent, has been hit with sexual harassment lawsuits by three women, allegations he has vehemently denied. Preacher and former sheriff's office employee Larry King is also on the ballot. And turning back to council, all 17 city council seats are actually up for grabs, but 28 candidates are vying for just five at-large council seats, so that's going to be one to watch. In addition, there are two spots available on Pennsylvania's Superior Court, so Pennsylvania voters will also be out today. But for now, we're live from City Hall. I am Trang Doe, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Back to you guys. Okay, thank you, Trang. And vote today and then watch it count tonight on Eyewitness News. Once the polls close, you can find live results on our website, cbsphilly.com.